Hey guys, Tyler here, and I just wanted to mention that the price for this PC does change often, so make sure and check out the link down below in the description and see what kind of price you can get for it. All right, let's jump in. In today's video, we're taking a look at this SkyTech Gaming Nebula PC. Now, this is the PC right here, and in today's video, we're going to talk about some of the frame rates that I'm getting for very popular games, such as Apex Legends, Fortnite, Call of Duty, and Rocket League. And with all of these frame rates, I do want to mention that these results are mine. Yours may vary a little bit if you have different softwares running in the background or have a little bit different PC setup. But either way, I did want to show you some examples of what's possible. And I do want to mention also that gaming in 1440, which is actually better than 1080, is absolutely possible with this PC. You just may need to adjust a little bit of settings depending on how many frames you would like to get. And with that said, let's go ahead and jump into each game and see how they do. First off, let's take a look at Apex Legends. Now I'm running at 1440p, which is actually above 1080p, so it's a very high resolution, and I'm also running at max settings. So this is absolutely the maxed out settings I can get, and you can see we're still getting about 110 frames with these max settings on 1440p. Now if we actually wanted to focus on getting a little more frames, we can drop the settings down to high settings. All right, now just dropping our settings down to high settings while still being on 1440p. 1440. Again, we're not gaming on 1080, we're gaming on 1440, which is better than 1080. We're now at 165 frames, which is the max my monitor can handle. And so far, this PC has beat out my monitor. All right, now here is Fortnite right here. This is at 1440p, again, higher than 1080. And it's also on their max settings, which are called their epic settings. Now, if we take a look at the top here, you can see we're getting about 102 frames. Again, very, very impressive at these extremely taxing settings. All right, now we've gone ahead and adjusted our settings down to high settings, and we've also dropped our resolution down to 1080. And if we take a look here, now our frames are roughly about 153. And these are really, really impressive frames for these really nice detailed settings. Next, we're taking a quick look at Rocket League here. Now I'm gaming at 1440p again, which is better than 1080. I'm also on absolute max settings. And if we take a quick look at the corner here, you can see my frames are actually at about 370 frames, which is absolutely incredible and so impressive that I don't even need to test out 1080 because that's over double what my monitor can actually handle. And that means this PC is incredible with Rocket League. All right, now let's take a look at Call of Duty and Warzone. Now I'm running at 1440p and I'm running on extreme graphic settings, the absolute highest that Call of Duty offers. And if we take a look up at the top left, you can see my FPS counter. We're getting about 100, 101 frames for this game on those extremely high settings. All right, now if we drop our resolution down to 1080p and then drop our settings to balanced, you'll notice that we're getting much higher frames, over 170 frames, sometimes getting all the way up to 200. Overall, guys, I've been so impressed with these results. I really do think this gaming PC is a very powerful machine as it's able to run these graphic intensive games with ease. It also, I wanted to mention, does this very silently as it is very quiet compared to most gaming PCs. And I am very impressed with the low noise level that this machine produces. And for that reason, I highly recommend this SkyTech Gaming gaming PC. Now be sure and check out the link down below in the description and see what kind of price you can get for this PC. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.